Okay guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and start laying out this foundation. And how we're gonna start is I know that I need to be a certain distance from that fence line and that's this stake right here and that stake down there. We're gonna pull this string line straight and that's my starting point, that's my starting line. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go exactly 16 feet apart. And once we get 16 feet apart, we're gonna hammer in uh, two stakes down there and pull a string line exactly 16 feet from this string line. That's gonna give me two parallel lines, exactly 16 feet apart. And once I get those two parallel lines, then we can square it up and then I'll show you how to do it after that. Okay, so I'm gonna set the water mark at my line. Take that pencil. And when I tell you to, I want you to mark on that stake exactly where the top of that water is on that pole. Okay? So kind of get down and look at it. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay, go ahead and mark it right at the top of that water. You have a pencil line? Yeah. Okay. Put your thumb back on the end of it. Okay. Now we have a level line across for this line here. I need you to hold me right on that. Okay, we're going to verify that we're still level on this with the water level. How you use a water level is everybody's got an end. I've got my thumb on the end of this right now so the water doesn't move. As soon as I take my thumb off and my partner takes her thumb off, she's going to set it where she wants it on her end because she's going to be the set point. I'm trying to verify my end because the corner she's on is our starting corner so as soon as she gets to where she wants to be she'll let me know yeah. she says she is and then i'm going to look at my water mark so we must have moved a little bit mm -hmm. And so I've got my water mark right on the top of my string line. Mm -hmm. And she does too. Water seeks its own level. And so as long as you're not pinching your line or you have your thumb on the end of your line. And that's how you use a water level. It's just as accurate as a $900 laser level.
Okay, so what we did then is you saw us go ahead and go through the motions of that. So like I said, what we did is we established our first line. We pulled a parallel line off of that line. That line's exactly 16 feet from this string line. Okay. Then what we did is we stick, picked our starting point in that corner. I know where I wanted to start in that corner. The two stakes on these string lines are wider than the foundation. We know they are. So as long as we're within reason on that starting point in that corner, it doesn't really matter. So you put a tick mark on the string. And once you have that tick mark, you measure exactly 20 feet to there. Pull your diagonal from that mark down there at 20 feet your diagonal mark on that string and then just measure 20 feet from that point on that string and then verify by pulling diagonal from this starting point to your ending point and if that diagonal is 25 feet 7 and 3 8 inches which it is then we're square so it's pretty easy to do um, like I said all you have to do is Ask Mr. Google and it'll tell you exactly what that uh, diagonal is. Um, and then you don't have to try and worry about a bunch of batter boards, three, four, five, holding it on three, four, five, or um, trying to use a framing square. I mean, there's all kinds of methods. You can set up batter boards on every corner if you want to. Um, I didn't really need to do that. I just drove stakes in. I knew where I was. I just needed one batter board because my ground was a little soft. Um, and that's how you do it. It's pretty simple. It's not that hard. Well, I hope, I hope how I explained how to square that foundation up was easy to understand. Um, a lot of people struggle with that and it doesn't really need to be that difficult. That's just the method that I use. There's lots of different ways to do it. There's actual probably three or four different ways to do the method that I use. But for me, it's easiest just to establish my one side, establish a parallel line, and then just simply measure the length of the building, pull the diagonal, measure the length again, and verify the last diagonal. And almost 99.9% .9 of the time, um, when I do it that way, when I verify that last diagonal, I'm in the money. So, um, like I said, hopefully I explained it relatively easy to understand. Um, I've tried the three, four, five, um, and even extending those out with longer lengths, the different uh, measurements for square. Um, I've tried big um, triangle squares, and it's just difficult. The more measurements you do, the more errors you have. At least with this method, um, once you establish your two parallel lines, you really only have three measurements. And that's it. And as long as you have um, a good helper and he's holding, being careful on the measurements, it's pretty easy to do. Um, we do have the grade established now. And, and you saw me cut the plywood for the forms. Next time I'll be hammering those in place. And hopefully, Pretty soon we'll be pouring some concrete so we can get to the good stuff, which is working with the timbers. So thanks for watching again. Um, be sure and hit that like button. It helps the channel. If you're the first first time viewer, subscribe. Um, we got lots of cool stuff coming up, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks.